Game four of the World Series, the Braves have a two to one lead. Can they make it a commanding three to one lead? Once again, playing at home. I'll let you know in this video. What's going on, everyone? It's Logan from Calling Our Shot, back with some more MLB playoff picks. This video covers game four of the World Series between the Houston Astros and the Atlanta Braves. And you know what? We've been on a little bit of a hot streak, a quiet hot streak, right, in the playoffs. I am five and one in my last six game picks. Hopefully, we, we can add another win to the column today. I am just solely making a game pick in this one, and that is my best bet for the day. Also, if you're not subscribed to our channel, mash that subscribe button. I say it every single video, but it really does help us grow. You know, we're, we're, sit, we're almost to 12K. Uh, your ultimate goal is 20K, and we can't do it without you guys and your support. So definitely, we thank you. And if you, if you already are subbed, we thank you a lot. Hit a, drop a like on this video. Hopefully, it helps more people see them. Now let's, without further ado, let's get in the pick, and it's a game pick, Astros versus Braves, and I'm taking Braves money line, minus 110 odds on FanDuel, I expect the odds to probably change throughout the day, because at the time I'm recording this video, I don't have a starting pitcher for the Braves, that's okay, I've seen enough from the Braves that, that I can pick them even without a starting pitcher, and you know what, their bullpen, it, it carried them to a victory la last night, Ian Anderson pitched an absolute masterpiece, and they, they took it the rest of the way. They, the Atlanta Braves pitching combined for a two-hitter versus Houston last night. If you told me the, the Astros and their very talented offense was going to get two-hit versus the Braves, I'd say you're crazy. Well, they just did, and it, it was extremely impressive. Atlanta, once again, playing at home. That's why whoever they trot out there, I'm confident that they can just not go out and, and self-destruct. But, you know, as the day goes on, I still do like Braves' money line. Atlanta batting 260 at home during the, during the playoffs. Probably went down a little bit uh, from, from normal because of last night. Last night, a lot of their top hitters only, you know, one, one hit performances or over. That's okay. That sometimes happens. But you know what? They, got, they won ugly. They, the Braves won ugly last night. If you, if you told me they were going to win a, a game 2 nothing versus the Astros, I'd say you're crazy again. But... These sort of things happen in baseball. Now, you have to look at, at the games in a vacuum. Like I've, like I've always said, you know, Houston com comes out slow on the road, and, and their bats never got going. But it's it's worth noting that even though that they were slow start starting, you know, it, it's sometimes been a trend in the playoffs. Houston only batting 240 on the road uh, during the postseason versus 283 at home. It's, that, this sometimes happens to teams. They get so comfortable in their home ballpark that they just can't turn on the offense in the road. And Atlanta has one of the great home field advantages with everyone doing the tomahawk chop. It's a really cool atmosphere. And you know what? Zach Greinke is going to be a victim of that atmosphere tonight. Zach Greinke is, is slated to pitch for the Astros. 7.7 .7 postseason ERA. That's high. That's high. And there will be some run opportunities for the Braves to get up on him. And you know what? Greinke hasn't always shown control. 257 uh well 2.57 whip in the playoffs you know this this year so i mean if, if a whip above two is is definitely important in that walk a lot of people get get some hits up on them and the braves offense all postseason has been extremely impressive at, at you know drawing walks getting those hits getting those clutch hits that's what the braves do i think they get i think they get the job done again against granky today he only had one start in October, which was a pretty solid start. But if you look back, you know, pull pull back the curtain, like like we talked about with Valdez, you know, you got to look at, at their more season-long performance. Well, Granky in September, five earned runs and seven earned runs in those prior starts. He's he's one of those pitchers, I'm telling you. I, I, I would not feel confident picking the Astros in this one uh, based on Granky, based on the bats just not showing up last night, you know, being on the road. There's a lot of factors that 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 make me hesitant to pick Astros, even though they they have those they have a great lineup one through nine. Just don't trust it as much as as I've seen with the Braves. You know, I like I said, if Houston's bats don't show up like they did last night, they're gonna be in absolute trouble because the Braves will put up runs. They'll put up probably more than more than two runs. That's their their offense is more than capable of doing that versus Granky. And I, I, I'm once again rolling with the Braves money line in this one. Let's make it six and one in our last seven. You know, we're five and one in our last six game picks. And, you know, I'm, I'm predicting the Braves take that commanding three to one lead. As always, let me know your favorite place of the day down below. I love to hear what you guys are playing. Also, go check out my college football video, which is posted for our Saturday slate of action. Austin's got you covered for Sunday. This has been Logan, and I'll catch you in the next one.